This is my basic model of the cell's plasma membrane. It is a fluid mosaic, meaning that the various molecules that make up the membrane can drift around. They're not anchored in one place. The basic components of the cell membrane are rather simple. They're made of these phospholipids represented by these uh, molecules that have two fatty acid tails and a phosphate group. Notice that it's a lipid bilayer, so we have one side on the right that's balanced with another side on the left. In either case, the phosphate heads, which are hydrophilic, face the, either the interior of the cell because they're water-loving, or they face the aqueous environment, whereas the uh, phospholipid fatty acid tails are water-fearing, or what we call hydrophobic, so they face inward and become the middle of the membrane sandwich. Small molecules such as oxygen gas and carbon dioxide are nonpolar and they can diffuse right through the cell membrane from one side to the other as long as they're going down the concentration gradient from high to low. Molecules such as water, although polar, they're small and they can also diffuse through the membrane. That is known as osmosis. Molecules that are bigger or electrically charged, such as ions, sodium, potassium, calcium ions, or monomers such as glucose and fatty acids, they must use some kind of doorway. And in this model, you can see I created a doorway with a styrofoam cup that is known as a, either a channel protein or a pro transport protein. So they would be able to go through the cup from one side to the other, depending on the concentration gradient, if they're diffusing from high to low, it's a form of passive transport. If they are going against the concentration gradient, it would need the use of ATP. One other quick thing I'll point out is that some molecules, such as cholesterol and other hormones like testosterone, they are big molecules, but they are also nonpolar. And so these molecules can diffuse right through the cell membrane from one side to the other as long as they're going down the concentration gradient. All right, that's about it for the fluid mosaic.